I was yesterday, as a defense, y'all are pretty motivated after giving up 40 last year to, to kind of not necessarily redeem yourself, you won the game, but to kind of show that that wasn't the real Bama. Uh, yeah, a lot of the guys were talking about how um, last year we didn't really play Alabama football and uh, that we were going to try to bring that standard into this game. What's this time of year like when you got like a monster, you don't have any class and all, it's just good football, you like that? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. We get to um, get a lot of film and um, really just focus on football and um, practice a lot. So we just up here most of the time, so. You, you say I'll be answer, answer to the cameras. They can hear you, but the camera's gonna need to see your all face, right, okay? You. you say Alabama football, can you just define what Alabama football is to you? Uh, I think we try to do a good job of being relentless and um, like a lot of the guys say savages on the field and um, we try to carry that over into everything that we do. What was different last year? What do you mean? Like, why would you say that wasn't Alabama football? Because uh, all, all the points we gave up and um, and uh, defensive-wise, we, we really didn't play, play the game that we know how to. Was there a part of y'all in the locker room after that game that was like, just still, no matter if you just won a national championship, still a little sick that they got that many yards and points? Uh, yeah, we were, we were really excited after that game, but um, we still we still want to uh, go into this year focused and um, play a better game than we did last year. What's the challenge of, of kind of limiting a guy like Deshaun Watson? Can move around with his feet and kind of extend plays? What's what's that challenge like? Uh, I think he's probably one of the best quarterbacks we faced all year, so it's going to be a challenge and. Um, We've been doing a, a good job at practice, trying to uh, practice it, and um, just just really um, focusing on must rush and um, keeping him contained, and uh, sort of look at can run back there and come. Do you feel like you guys are better equipped to handle him this year than you were last year? Uh, like I said, I, I think we've been doing a, a better job in, uh, on the way we focus this year, and we've been practicing really good, and so, so we'll see one day. Drama here, it seems like the, the strength and athleticism and all that kind of stuff was here when you got here, but hey, how much has it benefited you to play with guys like Dalvin and Jonathan, who are just your technicians and what kind of stuff have you picked up from them? Yeah, it's just a, it's just a learning curve. Uh, you get to learn a lot from them. And um, at practice, they always going 100%, so I try to pick up on that. And uh, they really don't um, give me, cut me no slack, so I like that about them. What's an example of something hand-wise or technique-wise that you've learned from one of them? Uh, to me, Dalvin is the technician of the group, and uh, every time, every time he strikes his hands is always in size, and uh, I try to try to use that in my game. With as much attention as like Jonathan and, and, and the outside rushers, the Ryan and Tim get, do you, you feel like you and Dalvin maybe the inside guys are overlooked, or, or even maybe the hidden gems a little bit? Uh, I feel like we just do the do the job that the coaches ask us to do, and um, that the, our defensive players they, they they know what we do, so it's, it's nothing too much. What was your assessment of the newest touchdown club member, Ryan Anderson? Oh yeah, I was excited for him. I was trying to uh, beat him in the end zone when, we, when he caught that touchdown. And, uh, after after the game, he was telling me, uh, I, "I see how you feel now," so he cut a little slack. Have you been giving him a hard time? No, I think he said that he finally got you off his back, maybe. Oh, no, I ain't been giving him a hard time. As a defense, what's been the best game you guys have played since you've been here? Since I've been here, probably that, that Cotton Bowl game against Michigan State. I think that was a good game because we were all just locked in and uh, ready to go out there and compete. Ron, what's your favorite or Ruben Foster story? Funniest, most memorable first thing that comes to mind when you think of it. I just think about just being on the field with him. Just like everybody's running to the ball, but you just see him like flying past everybody running past you. So it's pretty exciting. What about personality wise? What because he's always smiling he's, when he's here with us. Is he is he kind of life of the party or something? Uh, he's really just the same person overall. Um, a, a real hard worker and. Um, Try to have a lot of fun. Do you notice other teams maybe kind of, I don't know, 
scared of him at all during plays? Maybe if it's a play over the middle, they don't want to get hit by him, or have you noticed anything like that from other teams? They should be. He's a, <laughs> a hard hitter, though. Has, has your job changed much when uh, when you face a mobile quarterback like this? Are you still primarily concerned with the, with the run between the tackles? And is it hard to do that with, with those other guys that may be more worried about him or have responsibilities there? Uh, we focus on stopping the run, but then the with the quarterback being such a mobile quarterback, we've been trying to um, focus on balancing up the pass rush and um, just keeping him contained. Anything else? Thank Thanks, Dal. Thanks for Dal.